Almost nothing is known about the most iconic feast in American history, not even the date. It happened most likely in the late summer of 1621, a little less than a year after the Wampanoag saw a small group of strangers land on their shores. Half these strangers, men, women, and children, had died of disease, hunger, or exposure in their first winter on the unforgiving edge of North America. But by the next summer, with the help of the Wampanoag, the pilgrims had taken a harvest sure to sustain the settlement through the next barren season. And they meant to celebrate their faith that God had smiled on their endeavor. As the Thanksgiving began, a group of Wampanoag men, led by their chief, Massasoit, entered the Plymouth settlement, not entirely sure of the reception they'd get. Sometimes the pilgrims are saying, back off, and sometimes I think they bring the Wampanoags closer, depending on what circumstances are like. But this is a celebration of their survival, of their recognition that they probably wouldn't have survived without the assistance of these Indians. This is a time clearly when they're welcome. Kunipia. The governor cannot man him to stay. Massasoit and his men had not appeared empty-handed. They brought five fresh-killed deer, providing some of the vittles for a celebration that stretched over the next three days. Musketeers, make ready! Musketeers, fire! The Wampanoag and the Pilgrims were an unlikely match, but the two peoples were bound by what they shared, an urgent need for allies. The Pilgrims were completely alone in a new world, separated by thousands of miles of ocean from friends and family. The Wampanoag, badly weakened by rolling epidemics, lived in fear of rival tribes. That they found one another in 1621 looked like a boon to each. The Thanksgiving celebration at Plymouth was certainly an unusual event. It's not something we see thereafter. It symbolizes where the relationship stood uh, as of the fall of 1621. <laughs> For the English, it establishes that they're going to be able to survive because of the Native Americans. <laughs> There are strong personal relationships certainly going on among the leading political figures on each side and for all we know among other individuals as well. <laughs> For those who follow the pilgrims across the Atlantic, the first Thanksgiving would enter into national mythology, where it remains the bright opening chapter of the American creation story. 
For the Wampanoag and for Massasoit, the memory of that day would recede into darker places, shadowed by betrayal and loss. It's as if you could take the storybook version of American history, the myth of the first Thanksgiving, and turn it entirely upside down. Here's this story that's sad, that's sinister, and finally is about cruelty and power. Looking back, Massasoit would on one level have felt he was true to himself, but on another level, he must have regretted what he'd done. He must have thought, what if we'd taken a different course of action in dealing with these people? <laughs>